Most constituents are most concerned about transit. I was just on one street the other day at four o'clock in the afternoon. It was lined up with cars three blocks in. Unbelievable. And I said to the person I was campaigning with, did you have a look at that? Do you see how long this line of traffic is just to cross that light? Something's got to be done about that. And many doors that I knocked on that day on that street voiced the same thing as well. What's my job as a city councillor? What powers am I given as a councillor for you? My job as a councillor is to have a look at the proposals that come across my desk and consequently meet with the people that are putting forth these proposals, be it an environmental group, be it a developer, a social action group. There is a lack of food in the ward, which I'm sure we all know about, so food banks. Um, affordable housing, new developments that are going into the ward, traffic, transit. I need to look at those proposals and think of two things. The first thing is, how does this benefit the residents of Ward 15? And how does this benefit Toronto as a whole? The constituents I've spoken to are upset that developments are being built in the ward without proper consultation from them. There's a Lawrence Heights development that's about to come through. They went through many stages back and forth, but right now the first building is going up and people are upset. They feel that they were left out of the process. As your counselor, when I meet with these developers, I am taking your best interests with me into the meeting. I was elected by you not by the developers. I will bring forth your concerns because your concerns are the closest to my heart. I come from a small business background. I ran my uniform business for the last 25 years. In order to get anything done in business or in any other matter, we need to communicate respectfully with one another. I will work with the councillors in the neighboring wards and the councillors as a whole to make sure that we can come to some kind of consensus so we can vote united. I had a rule in my office when I had the business that any customer who called me within a day, their phone call had to be returned by five o'clock that day. When you call me, I will always endeavor to return your call within a reasonable amount of time. Always stay in the black, never in the red. It's so easy for us as politicians to come back to you, the taxpayer, and say, we need a little bit more to do this project. We need more to do that project. It's so easy, but we need to be creative in the way we think and in the way we budget down there. As a mother of five young kids, I understand what it means to stretch the dollar and squandering hard earned money to me is a travesty. On my watch, I do not want to see squandering of your hard earned taxpayer dollars going on at City Hall. Voting for me means you're voting for three things. Common sense, competence, and compassion. We need to change things up at City Hall. Call me, write me. I want to hear what's on your mind. It means a lot to you and to me.